Hey, so I just wanted to take a minute and show you some quick tips on how to improve your color mapping in Polyworks. Okay, so you can see my part here. I actually scanned this a couple weeks ago in a training session. I've got the traffic light scale set up, so I have three zones. I have the, the safe zone in green, the warning zone in yellow, and the out of tolerance zone in red. So let's try and uh, improve this a little bit. So this is just using the default settings. So the first thing you'll notice is there's some missing uh, coloring on the model there. Over here on this side. And you can even see on the other side we're missing some coloring. So this can be corrected uh, just by enabling a setup option. Over here in inspector options, if we go to display, color maps, and what we need to enable is the reference object color map. So if that's not enabled in your system, you might want to go ahead and do that. So let's click apply and I'll show you the difference. There we go. Much better. So now we can go ahead and hide the scans because you can see there's some extra scan data. We just don't need to see that. And when I zoom in, you can see it's a little rough around here. So by hiding the scan in the tree view, just pressing the wheel button, you can see it's really cleaned up our color map. It's a nice, neat, crisp, nice color map. Okay, so the next thing we might want to do is improve our annotations. So over here in the color map annotations, you can see it's actually pretty small. So to quickly fix that, let's go into edit annotations, the little wrench over there. And we'll just give any annotation a click and that opens up the edit dialog. So what I want to do is edit the formatting. So that's this little letter A here. So that will take us into inspector options. So what I want to do is edit the cell format and increase the font size to 16. So I'll apply that. You can see right away it's a lot um, easier to read. The other thing I want to do is change the positioning option. So over here, we'll click on positioning, and it is currently set at close to object. What I want to do for my display is to do close to border. And I'll click apply and you'll see what happens there. That's a little better. So let's click OK and OK here. OK, so now when we create our annotations, it immediately snaps to the border of our screen. Okay, so that's better. So once we finally get our annotations, um, it's a nice clean look. So let's quickly do a, a screen capture of that. Just hit the little camera button up here. And that puts that into our report. So that looks good. Another thing you'll notice with the creating uh, annotations, color map annotations, is when you have the pencil active, if you just mouse or hover over a surface, it will show you what the result is. So you don't need to click and create one. You can just kind of move around and see where the actual deviations are. So it just measures it live right there. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you some filtering options. So this shows all three, all three colors in the color scale all at once, but you can actually show them individually. So if, if you double click the color map here, it will open up the properties. And down here, there's a filtering section. So what I want to do is filter the tolerance limits. So if I keep only outside of the tolerance zone, that will show up in red. Okay, so let's, let's do that one. So I'll just apply that and then we'll report only what's out. So there we go. So it's a picture of just what's out. Your customer might only be interested in that. So when we go to the report editor, you'll notice that it's actually updated our previous screen capture. So if we wanna create more than one, if I wanna show just the green or just the yellow and actually show all three, what we need to do is go into the properties of the screen capture, right click properties, and uncheck the updatable box. 
So what that means is it will always show the red. So the next one I want to do, back to the 3D scene, is filter to only show the warning zone. So this will be the yellow. So I'll click apply. Okay, and so, so there's our warning zone. So I'll, I'll do a screen capture of that. And it shouldn't affect the, the red zone screen capture because I've made it not updatable. So see how that works? So I've got the, the out of tolerance and the warning zone. And we can also do this for the green zone as well. So I'll just quickly do that just to show you. So again, I wanna go into the properties of the screen capture, right click properties, uncheck updatable, apply. So that will always remain uh, the yellow, which is what we want in this case. Okay, so let's quickly do the, the safe zone. So it'll just keep within the safe zone, and that will be our green. There we go. All right, so let's quickly do a screen capture of that. Check our report. There you go. Okay, so that's about it. Just a quick little uh, tutorial on uh, color mapping, tips and tricks. Um, there's much more we can do with color mapping, but I just wanted to show you a few little filtering options and ways to clean up the cat. Okay, so thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.